I am joined now by Ellen's parents for this exclusive interview, Sandy and Josh Greenberg, and their attorney, Joseph um, Pedraza. Thank you all for being here. And, and first, Sandy and Josh, may I please extend my condolences? Um, I know it's been 10 years, but I don't think it ever gets better, certainly with the added struggles that you have had. Sandy, what answers did they give you originally when I can only assume you said it is preposterous that this could be ruled a suicide? Number one, we were never given any answers. The police and the opposition never cooperated with us. We had so much trouble obtaining the facts. We had to pretty much, um, we tried and tried and tried. It was frustrating, but we wanted to get to the truth. We want the truth. And I don't understand if the city of Philadelphia feels that Ellen's cause of death was a suicide, why they're holding back on all the facts and information that they have at their fingertips that they've been withholding from us for 12 and a half years. May I? Yes, please do, Josh. Okay. The way the law is written, I believe, in Pennsylvania, the Commonwealth, if, number one, there has to be a crime for the police to hold back the records. Suicide is not a crime. Number two, the investigation is over. There is no investigation. So there's nothing new that they would be keeping us from. So why are they not following the law? Why are they not doing the right thing? We don't know. Why do they not want to help us find the truth? That's what we've been after. We've been after and our whole position, mission. mission and position is not pointing fingers as anybody. We were asking three things. The first was be to change the outcome because the, that way we could have an unbiased, hopefully a new unbiased investigation led by an unbiased prosecutor or somebody. The pictures that you're showing are pictures the medical examiner took. If you'll go back. Let me ask you this. If I can, um, I was curious about the, the, your daughter's fiance, Samuel Goldberg, especially that last comment that he made to 911. She, she stabbed herself. I, I can't imagine how he would have even come to that conclusion with all the injuries in, in the back of her. What kind of investigation was, was done regarding Samuel Goldberg, Sandy? That's a great question, Ashley. What kind of, of investigation was done? When we got the reports from the last um, the opinion, three judges looked at the situation and they all admitted that the investigation was flawed, number one. Number two. You have to understand that these three judges of the Commonwealth Court, which is an upper level court, two of them said we had no standing and did not give us any standing to continue the investigation. Number two, the one there was one judge that sided with us and said we did have standing, and they they also they also said what was going on. The ruling, which is a very interesting ruling, because it's 32 pages, and of those 32 pages, most of the writing is about why Sandy and I should have justice. In fact, the, I always quote to friends of mine when I talk about this unusual ruling. The last sentence in the first paragraph, where the judges who are against us, who ruled against us, said that the investigation was flawed by the police, by the, med well, the medical examiner see, and, that, and the district attorney. Yeah, that brings me to, and if I, I want to uh, jump in here, if I can, with your attorney, Joseph um, Pedraza. Joseph, is this a case of just colossal... Uh, failure or sloppy police work? Is there some kind of a cover-up? I, I always have a tough time believing that different agencies would collude together, so I, I can only think of just terribly sloppy work, but what would be in it for anyone to, to cover up a, a, a killer on the loose? Well, that, that's a great question, Ashley. Uh, initially, we kind of thought that, well, this is just absolutely sloppy police work. That's what our discovery brought out when we began to more closely look at what did the authorities do to determine what happened to Ellen. Thank you for watching.
Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.